Okay, what I want to show you is how easy it is to connect an LED light, a 12 volt LED light to your Gaja setup or any uh, espresso machine setup when you have a PID uh, wired for, uh, um, for brew and for steam. So your steam solid state relay is going to be more steady on. If we take the temperature sensor from the PID and put it in the hot water, It'll change the temperature and um, the PID will start trying to heat it and it turns uh, this one on and off. This red light indicator doesn't come on as clearly as the other one, a different brand. Uh, so you can see when it's on and when it's off. So it turns on and it turns off. So you wouldn't want to use that as a 12 volt source for your 12 volt LED light, which is, you know, you can order a pack of, um, what does it say, pre-wired surface mount LEDs. And, and it's uh, what it exactly says. It's, there's a little sticky part, a little sticky pad on the back of the LED light. That's the, all the LED light. And, the, and this one, the, the wiring is flat, so that'll fit around any gap that you might have in the stainless steel frame. Um, and then it ends up with uh, two leads on the end like this. Um, I, hopefully that comes in focus. Um, so, and then you have a, a positive and a negative and then if you just connect that to your solid state relay that is running your steam you can see the blue light that came on over there yeah you, you can you can hold that if you want just hold that up you don't want to probably shine it into the camera but so <clears throat> we'll uh if we connect uh this as our power source then the steam relay will be on a lot more if i were to connect it to uh, this one that runs the brew temperature, that's gonna come on a lot more uh, on and off and it'll be blinking and that would be distracting. If you're connected to the steam one that's running the relay, the only time that's gonna turn off is if you set your steam on and it goes above 145 and then it needs to drop down to below 140 if you have it set between 140 and 145 like I do Celsius. Um, that would be the only time that the light would go off and that would be when you're steaming milk and you would notice, uh, okay, the, the, the heating element is on or off at that time anyway, so it's a good indicator. So uh, so if I take the temperature sensor and I drop it back in this hot water, let's see what it does. It starts going up and then this, hopefully to demonstrate this uh, effectively, will uh, show this relay coming on and off. So if I just connect it. So it's connected there and you can see it comes on and off. So you wouldn't want to connect it to the relay that is setting your steam temperature. I mean, your brew temperature, excuse me. But if you set it to your steam temperature um, relay, then this one is mostly on because whenever the brew temperature uh, heating element needs to turn on, it has to go through the steam circuit in order for it to, to work. And so if the steam uh, circuit ever turns off, um, to turn the heating element on, then the brew temperature can never turn on. So that's just like a safety protocol of the way that the, a lot of the espresso machines are wired. So anyway, that's how um, we were able to easily wire this simple LED light that, you know, we just ordered online <clears throat> and then put it in above the water tank of the Gaja. If you want to, if you want to turn over there, we can show you how it, how it looks on an actual machine. I'll uh, turn this on and we, and we have the LED light mounted up above the tank here so that we can see the water level. Now, I have a different color PID up here, but you'll see what that, that comes on up there. And then this light comes on right away and then we can see the water level. So that was a pretty easy upgrade and it basically the function of it was to help us see the water level because without that, you, it's very difficult to see the water level. And And that was just glued up above there on the ceiling above the tank and then there's a little gap in the uh, stainless steel frame so we just ran the wires up there into the relay that runs the steam temperature and then uh it's uh, on most of the time and if i go to turn the steam on you can see right now the relay is coming on and off for the heating element for the brew temperature because it's trying to balance it out to 94 degrees celsius if i turn this on for the steam cycle even though it's not turning the brew cycle, uh, uh, the relay on and off now, it's trying to heat up to 140 degrees uh, Celsius. So it'll get up there, it'll, t it'll take a minute, um, but when it does get up above 145, that steam relay, uh, relay will finally turn off 
and then the tank would start blinking at that point. But until then, it looks like it's mostly on and it was very easy to wire that way. And, and that's how you can do that. I don't have much more to say about that, except uh, if you want to hang around, we can wait and see. We can wait and watch this go up to 145 degrees Celsius. And um, these indicator lights on this uh, green LED, uh, green PID are a little harder to see, but you can see the steam indicator um, for that other relay is on here next to the four, next to that last digit. The other relay is not turning on and off at all at this point. And so the steam will, will, will say, okay, it's ready once it gets up to 145. So you got five more degrees to go. And then once it hits 145, the tank will turn off because that's when the heating element will turn off for the steam. So the way that this machine is set up, the alarm system is set for 140 to 145. So the heating element turns off at 145 it waits until it goes down below 140. And if I, if you were steaming milk at this point, then you would see that the tank just turned off so that you know that the heating element is off. Now that, <clears throat> or, or, or on, I should say, when the tank, when the tank turns off, the, the heating element is on because it's uh, heating. So right now it's heating, now, right now it just went off again, so right now it's not heating because the temperature went up against, uh, again, above 145. So this will complete, uh, will continue to cycle between 140 and 145. So whenever this is off, the heating element is off for the steam. So the temperature will start, start dropping down now. And, but you know, typically this would only happen a couple of seconds and then you would get out of the steam cycle anyway. You would go back to the brew temperature and then your light would come back on and stay on the rest of the <clears throat> operation that you are using your machine, so. That's how we chose to wire the LED light for the tank so we could see the water level. And it worked out very nice. It was pretty easy. It was the easiest upgrade we ever did.